All right, I wanted to do a video of a mobile home we redid. It is a 1978 uh, 16 by 80 if I remember right. So I'm just gonna do a quick view of the sides of the mobile home and then we'll take you inside. Do a walk down here and then I'll talk about the mobile home a little bit. So we're debating on putting a porch out here or not. Um, the person we have moving in uh, does not want uh, a porch on the back because they won't use it. Um, so we may not do that as of yet. It might be a future addition. I'll walk you down the side here. And this is the front of the mobile home. And then we'll go inside. Show you briefly. Let's see if my camera will adjust to the lighting. Um, so this is the mobile home. It has pergo flooring. Um, this lighter pergo flooring has been here about four or five years. Previous owners put this in. When we get to the darker flooring in the back of the mole home, I'll uh, show you that's what we put in. Um, but we have this TV armor we're just leaving for the renter. Let me close this door so you don't get the glare of the camera. So we repainted all the walls. We repainted the trim, um, we cleaned the floor, steam cleaned. The cabinet doors that you can see here, the brown ones, we resanded those, put a coat of polyurethane on them, that one and that one too. Um, otherwise, all these cabinets, these cabinets, these upper and lower, um, we sanded, uh, primed and painted, my wife did, and she did an amazing job at it. Um, the countertops were that cheap old Formica, whatever it is, yellow from 1970s. Uh, we tore those off and we added plywood countertops. Um, we got pretty high quality three quarter inch plywood, um, sanded a little bit, and then put uh, several coats of polycrylic on it uh, to seal it. We got a Kohler sink from a resale shop here, uh, home goods basically type resale shop for $20. Weighs a ton, we put that in there, put new plumbing um, for the sink because the old was deteriorated. Um, show you under the cabinets here, ran that new plumbing down and it is good to go. We did, this was another one of my wife's uh, great ideas. Um, all the cabinet doors and drawers we took was this inch and a half trim by probably half inch trim. We cut them and put it on on the front of all these doors and drawers, except those. Um, and it just adds some depth to it. it. Makes it look a lot better than the old cabinets that they were. We did replace a light here. Um, we cleaned all the windows. Um, we cleaned the fridge, clean oven uh, and stove. Um, my wife took that ceiling fan uh, apart for the most part and cleaned it like crazy. Um, this mobile home before wasn't in horrible shape. It had tons of leaks, especially in the bathroom. The plumbing had some issues and all this paneling on the walls was brown wood old paneling and the person who uh, owned it before smoked like crazy. So the whole place reeked of cigarette smoke and had tar on everything, including the blinds and all that. So all that had to be fixed. Um, but overall the mobile home was in good shape except for the plumbing issues and the leaks in the uh, bathroom I'll tell you about um, that we did have to replace. So let me walk you down here, down the hallway. And I'll post pictures of before. We didn't do a before video. Um, we should have and in future ones we will. Um, we just didn't think about it uh, in this one. So. This is the first bedroom, has uh, carpet in it, it's good shape, has plenty of good padding under it. So we just left that, cleaned it really well. Um, just need to vacuum in here in this closet. 
has a water heater behind this panel. I don't think this will come on with, without a hammer. Nope. It is a regular 40 uh, gallon, uh, regular size 40 gallon hot water heater though. Um, it is electric. I'll put a bar up there for clothes. Go around here. Has shelving, smoke detectors. Uh, like I said, my wife repainted all the trim as well with the help of my uh, parents. They came over and helped quite a bit too. Um, washer and dryer hookup. Back door. And then, okay. So this is the back bedroom, the master bedroom. Bedroom number two has a um, window AC unit. This floor we totally replaced. Had to cut out a big hole in the floor where uh, it was soft spot and uh, you could literally step right through. Um, we replaced that plywood and got this uh, laminate for like 50 bucks for the whole uh, lot of it, including the bathroom worth. Um, so we put this down. Seems to have worked really well. Very, uh, very pleased with it. We put carpeting in this closet. This is what we had left over from our house. We recently had carpeting replaced, and this was the big strip that they left us. So we just put it in here. Worked out really well. Uh, just rolled that carpet border, tack it down, and uh, we're very pleased with it. So I had enough, so I uh, ran it right into the bathroom and replaced all this floor, which you'll be able to see when I uh, put the before pictures on here of just how horrible it was. Under the toilet here, it was soft. I was kind of just planning on replacing around here, cut out square, put it back. Um, but once I uh, pulled up the old floor, you know, it just, it just wasn't really possible to do that. Uh, I had to basically cut out the whole floor underneath the bathtub, uh, remove the bathtub, remove the subfloor, which there wasn't a whole lot left, honestly, because there's so much leaking, um, and replace it. Um, and then had to put new shower paneling uh, up. Uh, my wife rocked out her skills on the vanity again, uh, sanded, and painted, and coated it. Looking awesome. So we'll make our way back out here. So like I said, um, in, pre, in uh, future videos, we will um, plan a little bit ahead and do some videos um, of before, and that way we can have some comparisons for after for you. Um, that way you have a better idea of what you're looking at. Um, but we think this renovation went really well. Uh, we had a renter um, accepted the uh, day before yesterday, so it'll start in about two to three days. Um, and uh, they'll be moving in. Uh, we're doing a year lease currently um, here in Missouri. Um, our current uh, price for lease is six fifty. dollars uh, Down payment was 1300 um, we did uh, buy the trailer uh, for 3200 and then we had to pay 3000 to move it and we put about a thousand dollars worth of repairs in it um, to get it ready so all said we have just over 7000 in it um, that will uh, lend us a return um, of our cost within the first year if all goes well um, and after that it will be pure profit as it's paid for um, currently um, so it will be uh, a continual source of income as long as we have renters in here so anyway if you guys have any questions comments con uh, or anything like that definitely let me know uh, otherwise please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day